One example of this uh, game-based approach is from a workshop we had recently in Guatemala. We know that communities are confronting more floods and more droughts and there's people upstream in the steeper part of the, of the province and people in the, in the lower part of the river where it's flat and more fertile soil. We noticed that people were saying upstream because of uh, problems with uh, economics and more uh, landslide and so on, they're cutting trees to sell the wood. As a result, people downstream are experiencing more flooding because when it rains, it now goes straight down and washes away the crops and even the, the properties and, and the, the homes. So we created a game together with the farmers, together with the communities in Nuevo Guayabo, in Chichicaste, and they came up with ideas on how to represent the relationship between the upstream, the downstream, and too much rain or too little rain. And in the process of playing the game, they started thinking, maybe the people downstream should share some of their profits from crop production to support the people upstream so they don't cut down the trees. This is basically payment for ecosystem services. This is a sophisticated concept that is being promoted in many international workshops that the farmers themselves came up with the idea when they saw in playing the game that the downstream suffers if the upstream suffers and cuts down trees. So the idea of becoming one system, one river basin that needs to think together and work in cohesion because in a changing climate there's more risk. That was great.